Navy of Salukes. Big Navy Salukes. Off the ground, on the floor. For Charlie Duke, he's still as excited about space as he was 50 years ago. But it is hard to believe it's been that long since the Apollo 16 mission landed on the moon. You know, I look at my pictures when I was a, a 36 years old in the day, and I can tell I'm 50 years older. <laughs> a lot more wrinkles. But uh, the motivation and the excitement of that adventure is still with me. General Duke is one of only 12 men to ever walk on the moon. He still holds the record for the youngest to do so at 36 years and 201 days. Although holding that title is an honor, Duke says it's a shame no one has broken it. After ending the Apollo program, NASA focused on space shuttles, the International Space Station, and other projects for years. But Duke is thrilled the United States is getting back into space exploration with a new generation of astronauts and new lunar missions, such as the Artemis program. With Artemis, NASA plans to land the first woman and person of color on the moon. Now with Artemis, is focused, NASA's focus on deep space again. And so uh, hopefully I'm still here when uh, we get the next crew to land on the moon. Last week, the former astronaut was excited to share his experiences with students at the South Carolina State Museum. The museum houses an exhibit with mementos from the moon, a copy of the flight plan for Apollo 16, and a flight drawing Duke made as a child on some of his math homework. He encouraged the students from his hometown of Lancaster, South Carolina, to work hard through the frustrations of life. Aim high, stay focused on your, your career, whatever it is, you'll, you'll figure it out, uh, but don't give up. Just keep pressing on. While Duke is a former astronaut, he's also a pilot, husband, and father. During the Apollo 16 mission, he left one token behind, a photo of himself, his wife, and two boys. On the back I'd written, uh, we'd written, this is the family of astronaut Charlie Duke from planet Earth who landed on the moon in April 1972, and we all signed it. Although it would be shriveled up by now, it's a permanent memory for Duke, and it's the only family photo to make it on the moon. General Duke served as a capsule communicator on Apollo 11, the first American space flight to land humans on the moon. He also served as a backup lunar module pilot on Apollo 13 before arriving on the moon himself during Apollo 16. For WCNT Charlotte, I'm meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees. Roger, one, one bravo.